Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the BBC News at One. Heavy snow and freezing conditions across the UK are causing major disruption to roads, railways and air travel. The Met Office has announced its highest level of alert, issuing a red warning for central areas of Scotland. And that means extremely heavy snow is expected to cause widespread damage and people should take immediate action to keep themselves safe. Amber warnings are in place elsewhere in Scotland and in parts of England. And some, in some areas, the army has been drafted in to help the emergency services. More than a 1,000 schools are shut across Scotland and parts of England. Drivers are being warned to take extra care on icy and snow-covered roads. And trains have been disrupted across the country with many operators cancelling or severely reducing their services. Well, this is the latest picture. This shows uh, the red alerts and amber alerts that are in place. The red alert there in central Scotland. And uh, there is snow falling, of course, in many, many parts of the country. Our first report this lunchtime is from Katrina Renton on some of the worst affected areas. Overnight, the Siberian snow swept in bringing with it high winds, poor visibility and treacherous driving conditions. The rush hour into work was much quieter than expected, as many people took heed of the warning not to travel. But for those who tried, conditions were difficult, trains were cancelled, the runway at Glasgow Airport was closed for a time and on the motorways some slips and slides. It's been snowing on and off here all morning. But it seems worse is set to come. A red warning, the highest level, has been issued for some parts of southern and central Scotland from 3 o'clock this afternoon until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, meaning extreme weather is expected to be on its way. But for some, driving conditions have already proven hazardous. This was the scene north of Aviemore. The driver suffered cuts and bruises, but nothing more serious. Around Scotland's capital, the traffic was light as many stayed at home. It's been an unexpected day off for tens of thousands of school pupils. Most schools, more than 1,600 around the country, were closed today. In the borders, it's already been announced schools will close tomorrow. And all 11 of this evening's SPFL football matches have been cancelled. The Scottish Government is emphasising people really should avoid travelling in these conditions as the cold snap continues. The heaviest snow overnight and this morning has been in the northeast of England. An amber warning is in place. Conditions are hazardous for drivers on major routes across Cumbria and the North Pennines. The Met Office is warning that rural communities here might be cut off for several days. Many roads were closed, including part of the A1. At Newcastle Airport, flights have been delayed and cancelled as teams work to clear snow and ice from the runway. For those travelling by train into Durham, the weather has caused disruption. I'm attempting to head back to Inverness. I came here last night from Inverness delivering a car, stayed overnight and attempting to get back. The conditions are not as bad in the north as they are here. This seems to be the worst hit area. I got the train to Durham and they're cancelling most of the trains running through Durham, so I'm turning around and trying to get straight back home again. Uh, so the bus is running in Newcastle, but I don't think they will be by the time I get home again. So it's been a slow morning without much progress so far. This evening's rush hour is likely to be even worse as strong winds drive in more heavy snow. Scotland and the north are braced for a difficult night ahead. Katrina Renton, BBC News. Well, snow has also fallen across large areas of eastern England, causing widespread travel disruption. While some are enjoying the unusually heavy snowfall, there are warnings that some rural communities could be cut off for many days. And many commuters are having journeys disrupted. Tom Burridge has more on that. The bigger you are, the harder your journey has been this morning. This driver in Lincoln needed a little help. But in places like Norwich, it was a commute to nowhere. In Tunbridge, a blizzard. Hundreds of schools closed across eastern England and some hospitals affected. It looks great if you're not in one of those cars. No school, of course, means a day outdoors. I know what to do. A snow angel. 
and creative ways to have fun. There was snow on Scarborough Beach. Even central London had a decent dusting. Not an alpine resort, but Parliament Hill, just to the north of Regent's Park this lunchtime. When London never gets like this. Especially so. at the end of February, almost going to March, like yeah. this kind of snow. Is just like normal. Hoping it will last? Yeah, yeah. oh my god. Hopefully it'll snow tonight and then there'll be a proper snow day tomorrow. So you don't have to go to school again. <laughs> well, it really doesn't feel like central London today. We woke up to an impressive amount of the white stuff. And if you can't get into work or to school, well, there's only one thing you've got to do. Get involved with the fun. Fun! In Wales, tips on Twitter about walking safely in the snow from Caerphilly Council. In Dublin, panic buying has left empty supermarket shelves. This is Buckingham Palace this morning, breathtakingly beautiful and cold. And this the scene outside our BBC studio. Tom Burridge, BBC News. Well, let's get the latest from uh, a number of our correspondents. Ben Ando joins me from uh, close to the A1 near Cambridgeshire. Uh, our transport correspondent, Victoria Fritz, is at Waterloo Station in London. First, though, let's head to Phil Bodmer. He's in thornton le -Dale in North Yorkshire. Uh, tell us more about uh, how people are coping there, Phil. Well, Jane, it may look pretty, but behind the picture postcard image, uh, there's been quite a bit of disruption here on the edge of the North York Moors overnight. They had about six centimetres of snow on top of about four centimetres of snow that fell yesterday. They're expecting worse weather to come tonight. This area is one of those still in the amber warning area. Across Yorkshire as a whole, more than 100 schools are closed today. Many more expected to be shot tomorrow as well as this snow sweeps in from the east and uh, traverses the whole of the county. County. The whole of the northeast pretty much affected right up to the Scottish borders. Leeds Bradford Airport has been closed to flights simply because of too much snow on the runway. And as quickly as they clear it, uh, more snow comes down. We are expecting further showers today. What I can't show you is the wind chill factor here. It may look quite benign in the sunshine, but when you add in the wind chill factor, it's down to minus 12. So that just gives you an idea of how cold it is. Jane. Indeed. Phil, thank you. Let's cross to Ben Ando. Uh, how are people faring where you are, Ben? Well, Jane, I mean, if you're having fun in the snow, as we've heard in those reports earlier, then it's fine. But if you need to make a journey, if you need to get around, then it can be really difficult. Of course, the thing to bear in mind is that conditions can change really quickly. Where we are now on the A1 in Cambridge, now this is the main arterial route between London, the North East and the east side of Scotland. Now, during the night, at around one o'clock, snow started falling really heavily, and there wasn't enough vehicles to keep the snow away from the road surface, so the grit couldn't really work. That meant it started to settle, vehicles started to slow down and stop, and before you knew it, you had around a couple of dozen vehicles stranded for several hours. The emergency services were called, managed to get them out, and managed to get the road reopened, but the things can change very quickly. We've heard from neighbouring Lincolnshire that on the A46, for example, there are reports of stranded motorists and they've had around 68 reports of trouble, of trouble so far. Uh, there doesn't seem to be too much traffic here at the moment. This is a very busy road. It may be that lots of motorists are heeding warnings and staying at home today rather than coming out and about. Thanks, Ben. Let's assess the picture on public transport as well. Victoria Fritz is at London's Waterloo station. A lot of train companies taking preemptive action, Victoria. Yeah, that is absolutely right. Uh, Jane, I'm going to start with a few of the airports because uh, Katrina mentioned one, Phil mentioned another. There are plenty more with cancellations. Heathrow uh, cancelling some flights uh, to Dublin, Washington, Brussels. Uh, Glasgow Airport actually remains closed as of one o'clock today. In terms of trains, it's actually easier to tell you which train companies are operating a normal service. Just the one. Great Northern, that's the line that operates between Peterborough, Kings Lynn and London, for example. Every other train 
train operating company is experiencing some form of delays and disruptions. Now, this is much worse than what was expected. Uh, Network Rail, which is the track operator, was hoping we would get a bit of a breather today so they can send out their engineers and clear the backlog of problems from yesterday. In fact, it is set to get worse. Not only have we got the beast from the east, we've got Storm Emma about to uh, come and hit us on the west side, which is going to hit Mid Wales and also the southwest. And it's going to be stations like this, London Waterloo, which is the UK's busiest train station, which is going to be affected the most. Uh, there are about 100,000 people that come through here every single day. So do expect more delays and disruption. Victoria Fritz there at Waterloo, Ben Ando and Phil Bobmer. Thank you very much for all those updates. And wherever you are in the country, just a reminder, you can keep up to date both with the weather prospects and with the travel conditions on the BBC News Live page. Continually updated, all the information there, bbc.co.uk forward slash news. And now our other main story here this lunchtime. Theresa May says no British Prime Minister could ever agree to the proposals in the EU's first draft of the Treaty for Britain leaving the EU. She was responding to the idea of a common regulatory area in the island of Ireland, which could mean the creation of a customs border between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, has also called on the British government to pick up the pace in the negotiations. Damien Grammaticus has more on all of this from Brussels. Damien.